Hey everybody, welcome. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to sign in and how to sign out of a Google account. Now, I know it sounds really, really simple, but it actually can be very confusing for a lot of people since Google does something which is kind of neat and it allows you to log into multiple Google accounts simultaneously. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna be playing around with two sample email accounts. One is for John Clark and the other one is for a gentleman by the name of Peter Klein. So what I'm gonna do first is make sure that you do not use Microsoft Outlook or Apple Mail. For those of you who are using those third-party programs, which are known as email clients, please stop using them. And instead, use your web browser. Now, there are a lot of web browsers out there, such as Internet Explorer, which is now called Microsoft Edge. Ugh. There's Firefox, Apple Mail, and obviously Google's Google Chrome. So right now, I happen to be using Google Chrome, and I advise that all of you do the same. In fact, at the time of making this video, over 70% of the human population use Google Chrome, and for good reason. So let's not go ahead and get sidetracked. What I want you to do is open up your web browser, whatever browser that is, go to Google, be staring at their homepage, then click on the sign in button towards the top right. If you don't see that button, it means you're already signed in. Once you click on the sign in button, go ahead and type in your email address, then your password after clicking next. And again, I strongly advise that none of you choose this option to stay signed in because if you're borrowing somebody else's computer and you forget to sign out, the next person who borrows that computer can easily access your email. So make sure that you never select this option to stay signed in. It takes two seconds. Think about it to type in an email address and a password. And it's a great security measure in the event somebody borrows your computer or you borrow someone else's and you forget to sign out. I'll go ahead and click on sign in. And over here we have our browser asking us, do you want Google Chrome to save this password? I always like to say never. For right now, I'm just gonna close this out. It's gonna keep prompting us, but my recommendation is never do that. It takes two seconds, again, to type in an email address and a password and it's a great preventative security measure in the event somebody else borrows your computer. So I'll close out that window. And over here we have a Gmail link. Now we signed into a Gmail account. If you have a Google Apps or Google Apps for Work email account, in other words, your email address is not someone at gmail.com, but rather someone at your domain name, then this link up here is more than likely gonna say mail instead of Gmail. But regardless of which, go ahead and click on that link and you'll automatically be taken to the inbox within Gmail. Now, one of the really nice things about Gmail is that you can be logged in to more than one account at the same time. So over here, we have this icon with the circle with the letter J in it. And that letter is simply a representation of the first name of the name for the account. In this case, it's John Clark. It also shows us the email address and also we have a sign out button. If I were to click on sign out, it kicks us out of the account. To sign in, we simply go ahead and type in our email address and our password and we're signed back in. Another option is to sign into another account. So to do so, if we were to go back and open up another tab, for example, and go to Google, you'll see that we're already signed in. So how do we sign into another account? And that's actually pretty easy. You just click on the circle over here to the top right, and we click on this button titled Add Account. Here we have another account for Peter Klein. Next. Type in our password for that account. Again, say no to this and we'll click on the Gmail link. Now you can see that we're logged into two separate email accounts, two separate peel boxes as I like to refer to them. So the first one, if I hover my mouse or click on this circle over here, it's for Peter Klein. And then we have another tab over here, which is the email account for John Clark. You notice that both tabs are right next to each other. So if you're like me and you have multiple accounts, one of the things I always recommend that you do is to open up a new tab in your browser window, click, hold, and drag and move that tab in between the two other tabs, which are your email accounts. 
That way you have sort of a spacer or a buffer between the two email accounts. That way it helps you keep track of which is which. So one thing to remember when signing out is that if you click on this circle over here to the top right and you click on the sign out button, what you're going to be doing is actually signing out of all Google accounts. So if I were to click on sign out for this John Clark account, you'll notice that in this tab, we're now signed out and it's prompting us to sign back in. However, if I go over here and click on this other tab for Peter Klein, it still looks like we're signed in. But in fact, we're not. If I were to go ahead and just give it a moment, we're going to be booted off. Or if I click on this inbox link over here to the left, you'll see that Google is going to recognize that we're now signed out and prompt us to sign back in again. So that's how easy it is to sign in and out of Google accounts.